Explosions over Israel tonight. The world is reacting to a major escalation in the Middle East. Iran launching its first ever direct attack on Israel, intensifying the ongoing conflict in the region. Good evening, everyone. I'm Terry McSweeney. Gia has the night off. We are learning Iran launched more than 300 missiles and drones at Israel, but 99% of them were intercepted with the help of U.S. forces. Taking a live look at Tel Aviv, it is 9 a.m. Sunday. Israeli officials say the assault severely injured a 10-year-old girl, but there were no other casualties. 31 others treated for anxiety or injuries they suffered while trying to get to a safe place when air raid sirens went off. Now, this comes nearly two weeks after an Israeli strike on the Iranian consular building in Syria. This is a video of the aftermath of that incident that killed two of Tehran's top commanders. Iranian officials say today's assault was its, quote, inherent right of self-defense. Well, President Biden cut a trip to Delaware short, returning to the White House earlier this afternoon. He spoke with the Israeli prime minister tonight, reaffirming the U.S.'s commitment to the security of Israel. The president plans to meet with G7 leaders tomorrow to coordinate a diplomatic response to the attack. And the U.N. Security Council says it will hold an emergency meeting tomorrow afternoon with Israel's ambassador. The ambassador calling on the council to condemn the attack and designate the Iranian Revolutionary Guard as a terror organization. This is also impacting travel to and from Tel Aviv, though in the last 30 minutes, the airspace over Israel reopened. Here in the Bay Area, many people with family and friends in the Middle East are closely monitoring this evolving situation. NBC Bay Area's Tom Jensen continues our coverage. United Airlines has canceled flights from the East Coast to Tel Aviv and Amman, Jordan, following the airspace closure in Israel. And minutes before the air raid sirens started going off in Tel Aviv, several international carriers canceled upcoming flights and even called back one flight already in the air headed to neighboring Jordan. <laughs> Meanwhile, back here in the Bay Area, those with family and other loved ones in Iran and in Israel worry about what comes next. This is absolutely devastating. I think that the people who are really going to see the most harm from this is going to be the civilians. Political the civilians. content creator Ariana Jasmine Afshar is outspoken to her 350,000 plus social media followers about her dislike of the current Iranian regime. But she says they had the right to retaliate for the bombing of the Iranian embassy in Damascus, Syria. Now she worries for the civilians in Iran and in neighboring nations who will Will be impacted if things continue to escalate. This is going to be catastrophic for the Middle East. It's going to be catastrophic for the people, and I can't help but be so worried for just my family members that live in Iran as well. It's just very, very bad news. This was never just about Israel and Hamas or the Palestinians. The head of the Bay Area Jewish Community Relations Council worries about civilian casualties too, and for Jewish people globally and here in the Bay Area who may be targeted because of what's happening overseas. We saw after October 7th, uh, there was a wave of anti-Semitism that hit the Bay Area, Oakland, San Francisco, Berkeley. And so we're also bracing for what that wave might look like now. But we also need to remember that things can easily spiral out of control. It's not just about this limited attack, or so we hope. It's what could go wrong. Many hoping for cooler heads in the days ahead as the situation overseas evolves by the hour. In San Jose, Tom Jensen, NBC Bay Area News. Taking a live look at the California Capitol tonight, Governor Newsom weighing in on the escalation overseas. He posted on social media saying, quote, California stands with Israel against these unprecedented attacks from Iran. Our NBC News team continuing to monitor the situation closely. Our free NBC Bay Area app is a great resource to have. We're going to send breaking news updates straight to your phone.